Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video, as you can tell by the title, is going to be on this makeup look, which is a drugstore sweatproof makeup glam. I absolutely love this look. It's like really simple, smoky eyes with like really fresh, glowy skin. I think it's perfect for summer, and I used all affordable makeup products. Every time I do my makeup lately, I've just been doing this look because I love it. It's so easy and just effortless. So if you've been watching me for a little while, my past couple videos, like I've been doing this look for so long, and even on my social media this is like what I typically go to a lot just because like I said it's so easy and I just I love it so I hope you guys enjoy don't forget to let me know if your favorite products for the heat whether it's high-end drugstore let me know down below thank you guys for watching and let's go ahead and get on with the tutorial hey guys so let's just point out the obvious yes my face is a lot lighter than my body I literally just got done self tanning so I just used my loving tan deluxe bronzing mousse if you're interested I'll leave a link to it down below so I'm starting off with my brows today I'm using my L'Oreal brow stylist definer I actually have this one in the wrong shade I'm always in the shade brunette but this one's in the shade dark brunette I grabbed the wrong one by accident but I'm just basically gonna be outlining my eyebrows just following along with the natural shape this is what I've been doing lately and even though I usually always do my brows off camera I've been getting it requested lately to do them on camera once in a while so this is my current brow routine super simple So once I outline the brows, I go in with my NYX Tame and Frame Brow Pomade. I have this one in the shade Espresso, and I'm just going to take this with an angled brush. This one that I have is from Royal and Lang Nickel, and I'm basically just going to fill in the rest of my brows. I know that they look very, very harsh, but we're just going to roll with the punches and, you know, just make it work. And my hair is a lot darker than it was before because I did recently get it done, so I feel like eh, the bold brow, it kind of just works itself out so once I fill them in I'm just gonna be using my NYX full coverage concealer in the shade beige just to really carve them out I feel like whenever my brows just aren't cooperating with me they look a little too thick just not good whenever I go in with concealer it makes such a huge difference so I absolutely love this concealer I've been raving about it for so long it really is so amazing so I'm just using a flat shader brush from Vanity Planet just to carve out the brow once I carve them out then I just take my L'Oreal beauty sponge or any beauty blender whatever and I just blend out that concealer and to go ahead and prime this is super important especially if you have oily eyelids I'm using the NYX eyeshadow base in the shade skin tone this is my absolute favorite this is all I pretty much ever use to prime my lids I love it so much I'm just using a flat concealer brush from RC cosmetics and then I'm gonna go ahead and set that I'm using my NYX lid lingerie palette today and I'm going to use the cream color there on the end just to go ahead and set that eyeshadow base. I think this is super important whether you have oily eyelids or not. I personally don't but I think it helps a ton when it comes to your eyeshadow blending seamlessly. So then I'm going to be using the orange color in this palette which I love this palette by the way it's super pigmented and I'm just going to be taking this on a Sigma E40 blending brush and I'm just literally blending this in all over my lid in my crease back and forth. I'm building it up and getting it to be really intense. I love orange warm colors in the crease, especially in the summertime. I think they're so pretty, and I just love this look. It's super simple. Like I mentioned, that's why I go to it a lot. And I pretty much do this look with a lot of different palettes. You don't have to have this palette to create the look. As long as you have a brown or like a warm shadow in the crease, that's all you pretty much need. Then I'm going to be going in with some sticky tape. I'm going to apply it on the back of my hand just so it's not super harsh around the eyes when I pull it off. And then what I'm going to be doing is taking the two darkest colors in the palette and I'm going to use both of these to create a winged liner effect on my eyes. So I'm using an angled eyebrow brush from Royal and Lang Nickel and I'm just literally, you can see, just following along the edge of the tape. I think if you're a beginner, this is a really great trick because it's literally super easy. It's kind of just like coloring, you know, you just follow along and then you get a really nice crisp edge once you remove the tape so I'm just building this up quite a bit because you're gonna see in a moment I'm gonna be blending this out just to create that smoky effect that I've been doing lately so just really building it up and making it pretty intense then you can see once you remove the tape you have a nice little wing you could totally leave it like this if you like this is how I used to do this look but lately I really like the smokiness so I'm just adding a little bit more of the brown shadows that I was using 
And then I'm just going to be using this e.l.f. contour brush for the eyes, which is my absolute favorite. It's amazing. You can use this brush for so many different things. And I'm just going to smudge the brown liner <laughs> eyeshadow upward towards my lid to create that smokiness. And I actually am going to be adding a little bit more of the brown color from the same palette just to really smoke it out and make it a little bit more intense. And that's pretty much it. And you can create this look with so many different palettes. You don't have to have the one that I'm mentioning. As long as you have an orange transition color, and a brown color you're good to go so I'm just really smoking this out until I get it to be as smoky as possible how many times did I just say smoky like seriously girl get it together then I'm gonna be wiping away any fallout with my favorite parent choice baby wipes from Walmart this is why I like to do my eyes before my face just to avoid any fallout on my foundation so I'm gonna be coating my lashes with some mascara I'm using the L'Oreal voluminous carbon black and I'm going in with falsies today because my lashes suck and I love falsies. I'm using the Salon Perfect 614 lashes. I adore these. They're so, so pretty. And I'm going to be applying this with my favorite lash glue from Kiss, which both of these, you can find them at Walmart. That's where I always get my lashes and lash glue. And I'm just popping these on with some tweezers. I get so many compliments whenever I wear these lashes because they're really so pretty and long and fluffy. But they're still really pretty for every single day. Like, they're not over the top. That's why I really like them. So, moving on. Onto the face, I'm going to be using the Rimmel Stay Matte Primer, an oldie but a goodie for me. I used to use this all the time. My skin isn't as oily as it used to be, so I'm just really focusing this on my T-zone because that's where I get pretty much the most oily on my face. I do have combo skin. So then I'm using the Nivea Men Sensitive Post Shave Balm just to apply this to the rest of my face. The Rimmel Stay Matte Primer is obviously going to mattify your skin and then the Nivea Men Post Shave Balm is going to really help to prolong your makeup for multiple hours. I love this combo together and I think if you have oily skin, it'll be really good for you as well or combo skin as well like myself. Then I'm using the LA Girl Pro Coverage HD Foundation. I have this one in the shade 647. I know it is very dark, but I'm matching my face to the rest of my body because you can see my face is a lot lighter than the rest of my body because I don't like to self-tan my face because I have pretty sensitive skin. So I'm just blending this out with my L'Oreal Beauty Sponge, and I love this foundation because it gives me such a natural finish, but I still get such amazing coverage. It's not too dewy and it's not too matte, so I think it's just the perfect foundation for summer. I've really been loving this lately, and it's amazing. Amazing. I've been kind of alternating between this one and the new CoverGirl foundation. Love them both. So then for my under eye, I'm using the... Uh, <laughs> I was going to say L'Oreal Hard Candy Dream Cushion Corrector in the shade Peach. And I love this corrector because it's not super thick and intense and like really pigmented underneath the eyes. But you get some really nice coverage and it's super lightweight. So I think it's just a really great like hydrating under eye corrector. So again with the same L'Oreal sponge I'm blending that out. Then I'm using this Milani concealer in the shade Light Medium. I've been kind of using this like undercover like because I'm going to be talking about this more in an upcoming video but I really love this concealer. The coverage is great and it blends super easily and it just like literally melts into my skin. I love it. So I'm going to use this to conceal and highlight and then just blend it out like always. Then I'm using my Airspun Loose Face Powder in the shade Naturally Natural just to set underneath my eyes and all the areas where I applied the concealer. I just applied some on the lid and then just took my sponge and just blended it out. I'm not really baking, I'm literally just setting. I love setting underneath my eyes like this because I feel like it really just sinks in better into the skin and just looks a little bit more natural and it doesn't sink into my fine lines as much because I still have fine lines. No matter what I do, they always stand out, but I feel like this kind of like reduces that a little bit. So then to set the rest of my face I'm using another favorite the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder this is so good you guys like so good I used to use this all the time in high school and I love it so I'm using this with a Royal and Lang Nickel Powder Brush just to set the rest of my face and I have this one in the shade Buff Beige then to set my brows I'm using the Brow Precise Fiber Volumizer from Maybelline and just to lock my brows into place because you don't want them melting off 
Finishing up the lower lashes, I'm picking up the orange color as well as the brown, and I'm just going to be using the same e.l.f. contour brush. I told you guys I love this brush so much. And I'm just going to be really smoking out the lower lashes. Then I'm using the Rimmel Scandal Eyes Eye Coal in the shade Nude, and I'm just going to be lining my waterline. This is another old favorite. Like, I forgot how much I love this eyeliner. It is so good. I just recently got it again, and I'm, like, in love with it all over again. So after that, I'm just going to be coating my lashes with some Bottom Lash Mascara, and this one is from L'Oreal. It's the Voluminous Carbon Black. Mal Mal. Now for the face, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Contouring Palette, and I'm going to be using, of course, the bronzer shade. You can see I went ham with the bronzer. I don't know why I'm so heavy-handed with my makeup, because I end up regretting it afterwards, but I make it work. But I know, everybody always tells me, you're so heavy-handed. That's just how I do my makeup. That's just how I am. So here, I'm just taking a Wet n Wild powder brush, just to kind of blend out that bronzer, just because I did go very crazy with it. So... Then I am also going to be using the same color just to contour my nose a little bit with the same e.l.f. contour brush and a Wet n Wild blending brush. So then I'm using the banana color from the Caramel Toffee palette from Wet n Wild and I'm just going to be kind of carving out a little bit my contour. I usually always go for more of a natural contour look just because that's what I, that's my preference. So then for blush, I'm using Wet n Wild Apricot in the middle. This is like my go-to blush pretty much all year round, but in the summer, it's like my favorite. Like I can't put it down. It's so pretty and it gives you like this really pretty like peachy sheen on the cheeks. I just love it. So finally, to highlight my face, I'm going to be using this Flower Beauty Highlighting Palette, and I'm going to use mainly the yellow color on the end. With the Morphe M501, I'm just going to be highlighting my cheeks, down the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, my chin, everywhere. And I love this palette. It is so smooth, so pigmented, and it looks so pretty. You can see just how pigmented it is. I absolutely love it. So I got this from Walmart. It's a little pricey, but you do get three highlighters, so I think it's worth it. So then I just took a little pencil brush, and I just applied that same highlighter in the inner corner of my eyes and also underneath my brow bone. My lip color varies constantly, but lately I've been loving this Koki Professional Lip Liner in the shade Warm Nude. Regardless of what I put over top, this is like the only lip liner that I've been using lately. I love it. It's super creamy. It's pigmented. And this shade goes with pretty much any nude lipstick, liquid lipstick. It's just stunning. You can find it at Walmart. Then I topped that off with the Bahama Beige Lipstick from Milani. And then I added some gloss. And I'm using this other Koki Professional Gloss in the shade Invincible. I love this. It's really creamy creamy, pigmented, and it's not sticky. So highly recommend the gloss if you're looking for a good one. And then finally, to really lock my makeup into place, I'm using the Fix It Up Matte Setting Spray, also from Koki Professional Makeup. And if you're interested, check the description box. I will leave my favorite setting sprays. If you can't find this one, I have other ones that I really love that are affordable. So that completes this look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all, and I'll see you in a few days in my next video. Bye!